Yep, that's me. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So we are in my new apartment. There is a little bit of an echo because I don't have it full of furniture yet. But I just wanted to get on here real quick and share a recipe. I am making jumbo stuffed shells with crab meat today. So I was like, hey, this is easy, quick, fun. So let me go ahead and film this process so you guys can see how I do it. My boyfriend's never had this before, so I'm excited to see how he's gonna react when he gets off work and he tastes it. So yeah, if you guys like some kind of content like this where I cook for you guys, let me know down in the description box down below. And with further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So obviously the first thing you wanna do is make sure you get your water to a boil because you're going to be putting the noodles in there. You're gonna need about 15 to 20 noodles. So you can go ahead and use a big pot like I did. Or if it's just you, obviously you can use a smaller pot. So I have the heat up on eight and yeah, it's boiling. So I can go ahead and add some noodles in now. So I just have one box in there. Don't use your fingers because this is very hot. <laughs> that to boil over again some more. They're boiling. I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my oven to 350. And it doesn't have to be cooked all the way through because you're gonna put it in the oven later. But let's go ahead and get into making our stuffing for the noodles for when they come out. Okay, so this is pretty much my main ingredients. You're gonna need some cheese. Um, I put crab in my stuffed shell, so I went ahead and got the crab queso along with the ricotta cheese. It's gonna taste great. The garlic, Parmesan cheese, Obe, salt, pepper, and vodka sauce. I might add some seasoned salt later, but that's just what I have for just now. And also we're gonna add an egg in there um, into the bowl. So let's go ahead and make that mix now. Go ahead and scrambling the egg in the container first. Obviously you can use a bigger bowl than this because all of these ingredients are about to be combined into this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that off camera because I can't hold the camera and do that at the same time. And yeah, silly me, I didn't charge my vlog camera today. So yeah, we're working with the phone camera. So let me go ahead and do okay, that. So here's how much stuff the stuffing or the filler, whatever you wanna call it, for the shells are gonna look. So I'm gonna to switch to a spoon instead of this fork and start to stuff them. But first I need to drain the noodles. So I'm gonna have this one tray, I'm gonna fill it up, and then I'm gonna do a second tray. <clears throat> After that, because there's so many shells. Oh, I don't have a big one. I should've asked my mom to bring me one in the bed, I didn't, so. First thing I'm gonna do is layer the bottom of the pan with the sauce. Now I'm using vodka sauce. It's not really vodka in there. It's just called that, but I think it's just a mix of marinara and Alfredo, to be honest. Okay, I can't open this. Tricks you learn in the hood, okay? Mmm, this one's so good. All right, so I'm gonna layer the bottom of the pan with this. I don't want that to fall. All right, here's how it looks. Just layered. Get a spoon. 
Remember, this has egg in it, otherwise I would lick it. All right, so I'm gonna grab a noodle, open it, see, it's blank. Have a teaspoon, or a tablespoon, or whatever of this, and just put it in there. Just like that. And then lay that in there, just like that. All right, I'm gonna keep doing this step. And yeah, I'll get back to you all when I'm done with the first pan, so you all can see. This is how the first tray looks. I'm gonna cover it with more vodka sauce and then put the cheese on top. Then I'm gonna plop it in the oven after I do the second pan. So I also am gonna cover it and just put it in there for 35 minutes. First pan is covered, second pan has the remaining leftover. I am out of dip and these are the leftover shells over here. I'm probably gonna save these. Actually, no, because we don't have a microwave yet, so there won't be a way for me to warm these up. So I'm gonna go ahead and trash those. Suggestion, because the jumbo box comes with a lot in them, I would recommend that you only use half, yeah, half of the box, because I only use two pans worth of noodles and I still have all this remaining. the finished product i have the extra one over here and yeah guys i can't wait to try it i'm gonna put it on a plate now all right here you go baby you want two plates or one stop that do you want two plates how many shells you want i don't know i don't know what it says like there's crab meat in it there's crab meat in it mm -hmm. you want some um Parmesan? No. You like it? This is new. You like it? It's new. I never had it before. I know you haven't. I told the blog that. Hmm. This is this is upper echelon kind of meal. <laughs> Yeah.